um, one of the reasons that anti-GMOs have cited is the fact that multinational seed companies will take over the seed market, okay? Because we don't have many of our scientists going in to breed or come up with these new varieties. We understand that it takes a lot of time and effort to develop these new varieties. But then if we don't have an African company in it, people feel multinational companies are going to take over the seed market to the detriment of rural farmers. Is this not an issue for you? Very good question about uh, the multinationals and the private sector. I think what, uh, what our African leaders need to understand is that uh, the fact that the first biotech crops came from the industry or from the private sector does not deter us from developing the capacities that are needed because when you look at uh, many of these uh, labs in uh, developed countries, it's actually African scientists, top-notch African scientists who are leading the research on genetic engineering in those countries in the West. And so what we need is to, uh, to, to invest in uh, improving our scientific infrastructure so that our scientists, as they train from uh, some centers of excellence globally, come back and they have a platform to operate. Of course, we, we do have uh, one or two examples. For example, in uh, East Africa, we have the BECA, the Biosciences for Eastern and Central Africa, that is providing that kind of platform. But we should not demonize the technology just because more nationals started. I think what we should be doing is looking at our own local private companies, uh, support them in terms of tax incentives, in terms of uh, favorable policies, so that they can be able to start generating the technologies that we need. But one important thing that is very good to note is that public-private sector partnerships for Africa would give the quickest benefit for the time being as more and more scientists are getting to develop what you'd call homegrown uh, technologies. And this is already happening. In Uganda, for example, a lot of work transformation work that has gone on in banana is being done by Ugandans themselves. Of course, they, they are partnering with other centers of excellence. When you look at um, cowpea, another African traditional crop, it is being transformed by Africans themselves. So it is also a myth that Africa does not have technology. Uh, technologies. Africa is rising and Africa has developed a critical mass of scientists who, if harnessed and given the right scientific infrastructure, the enabling policies and other support services, they'll be able to come up with products for Africa.